Um, can you talk to me about the uh, civilian targeting? I mean, the Russians are absolutely clear in everything they tell the world. We do not target civilian infrastructure. And yet we see before our eyes what's happened to Mariupol, what civilian targets are hit in other cities, including in, in Kyiv, and, um, you know, the, the, the number of dead and wounded. But there's a very sophisticated way that they have of, of saying, well, this person is a fake and that person is a fake and it was all actors and it was all staged. Can you get beyond that, given that there's not many independent journalists in Mariupol? Um, we, we try to. So far, we've gathered more than 400 incidents of civilian harm. Of those, about 10 percent, 40 of them represent egregious um, civilian harm incidents, which could have been prevented, should have been prevented with due care uh, and uh, compliance with military rules of engagement. What we're seeing here is um, a neglect, neglect on the Russian side of the traditional military rules of engagement that are meant to avoid civilian ca casualties. Every war will have collateral damage of civilian ca casualties. What is particular here is that the Russian side does not make the effort. And one makes, one may believe that actually is part of their strategy to terrorize the population in order for pressure to build up uh, on the government to come to some sort of a compromise with, uh, with Kremlin. But what we see is uh, not only evidence of um, targets that have zero military infrastructure um, importance, such as schools, hospitals, and, and theaters, as we have seen recently, administrative buildings. But we also see um, some explanation for why that is happening. There are a lot of intercepted phone calls that are being published by the Ukrainian security services, and we were able to verify a small portion of that, the ones where they publish also the phone numbers of the calling parties. And we hear a lot of Russian officers and soldiers talking to their loved ones in Russia, complaining about the plight that they're in, and actually informing their wives or their spouses that they've been given instructions to ignore uh, the, duty, the duty of care to civilians, to, to actually not even pay attention to whom they're shooting as long as somebody's in their line of view. And this would explain also the total um, well, neglect for uh, civilian casualties when artillery or, or other missile shelling is uh, taken, is uh, implemented.